We're going to do a little live video feed on the YouTube here also as we get these Sea Furies up in the air. Looks like the B-25 is firing up again. Let me switch this camera angle around. For those of you on YouTube, we just got two Sea Furies fired up. We've got the um, the Dwelly family Sea Fury, the stock, return to stock two-seater in the number two position. And in the lead position, we have Argonaut. Both of these are 3350 powered uh, Sea Furies, and we're gonna get them in the air for a series of flybys. Sherman Smoot, is that right, Craig Bryan? Sherman Smoot is in the lead Sea Fury and uh, he's going to be running those smoke generators, giving you a wake turbulence demonstration and, well, induced drag demonstration at the same time. All right, folks are tuning in. We got Idaho, Victoria, BC. We already got 95 folks on board. There goes the B-25 firing up. He's been selling rides all day here at the Airfest at 425 bucks a piece. We're also announcing the air show here at the same time. So I'm going to do a little double duty here, YouTubing and announcing with Tim. Say hi, Tim. There he is. Hey, I'm doing he's doing. He's doing his still photos. Those are the amazing still photos you see. We've got a whole raft of famous aviation photographers here. Say hi, boys. Look at this. Yeah, you guys are live on the YouTubes. <laughs> yeah, live on the Blanco Lirio channel. <laughs> yeah, if 425 is cheap, we're burning 120 gallons an hour in this B25, and the whole idea of keeping that B25 afloat is through these selling of these rides. The two Sea Furies are at the end of the uh, runway, getting those engine temperatures, cylinder head temperatures up into the green, oil temperatures up in the green before they blast off. They'll be cycling the engines, again, cycling the props, checking left and right magnetos before blasting off. You're going to want to have your cameras and camcorders ready for this. Another once-in-a-lifetime flying demonstration. That's right, and the B-25 is taxiing out with a, another full load of fan passengers. Be ready for these Hawker C theories. We've had a great turnout today here at the Airfest. It's just been perfect weather. Perfect conditions, great flying all day long. It goes all the way down to the other end of the field down that way. There's a big beer fest and party going on down there. From Tampa, Florida. There's another fan right there. Now as these sea furies fly by today, we'll do a little bit of explaining, but we're going to be mostly quiet while we can listen to these aircraft as they do their flybys. That's right, the sound of the engine noise. A little bit of a short field takeoff on the B-25 there, or is he going to back taxi one? Looks like a back taxi. Yeah, yeah. That's the only really safe way to operate the twin engine B-25. That's yeah. the most drama that sat on the end of that runway for a long time. <laughs> yeah, boy, banging down there with all those round engines. Be a big cloud of red dirt blowing up here soon. 
I think the adventures are 88 and 89. You got it. Line them up down here. CDF. Yeah. The 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 Mighty Luscombe's parked right down there she is, right down there. Somebody was asking on the YouTube. There's the Mighty Luscombe. Super Chat's on. Tune on in. Okay, yeah, what we're watching, this is uh, but this is another live feed from the Nevada County Air Fest 2019, my hometown airport here in Grass Valley, California, where we're narrating today our annual air show, and uh, this is the highlight end of the show, the B-25 and the Sea Furies. It'll be a couple minutes before you see them come, come rip-roaring by here. But it'll be stunning once they get, once they get over here. We'll get the ride helicopter up out of the way. That's him there blasting off. He's selling rides at 69 bucks a piece. I want to lay off the zoom on this uh, live feed because it's just too jangly of a view. The, B, the B-25 can fly uh, up to six or seven passengers and there's a whole, I got a whole video series on the B-25. I got the opportunity to fly in that B-25 uh, last Sunday. Hey. Gimbal, yeah, uh, I, I got, I tried a gimbal that simply does not work for live feeds. It just doesn't work. Okay, here comes the B-25. Ah. The B-25 taking off at 100 miles an hour and climbing out in ground effect, very low to the ground, to achieve that safe 140 miles an hour for a single engine operation. And he's off for another 30 minute ride. I think he's gonna go all the way up to Oroville Lake and back. Okay, I see the first Sea Fury. Which one is that, Tim? That's Argonaut. Argonaut, looks like he's in the lead position. That's right, nothing like the sound of a round engine. Yes, very hard. Imagine that B-25 on a Doolittle raid taking off from the short, short deck of an aircraft carrier pointed into the wind, fully loaded. 200 miles farther out than they originally intended. The Hornet. Here comes our first Sea Fury, Argonaut. The 3350 Raven engine, originally a turbo compounded engine, the epitome of reciprocating engine design engineering for World War II before jet aircraft overtook the whole field. Incredibly complicated machines. Turbo compounding, where they had a supercharger and uh, PRTs, power recovery turbines, all connected to eke out every last bit of horsepower out of those engines. Getting near anywhere from 2,000 to nearly 3,000 horsepower out of the 3,350 cubic inches. Hey, Mark, did you go in the B-25? All right, how was it? Blast. It was a blast. Was it hot? Was it sweaty? You stayed by the porthole. Yeah. yeah. And did you get to climb around to the different crew positions? Yep. Did you get some good pictures? Awesome. Good. Yep. Let's see them online. Pictures and videos. All right. <laughs> Mark Dyer, B25 ride. Rider. How was your ride, Juan? 
Hey, good, look what it is, it's Alkali Flat. Say hi, Alkali. <laughs> yeah. You're great. <laughs> I saw your ride, man, it looked cool. Yeah, it was way cool. Well, I want to see this. Where's the stealth bomber? They ain't got no stealth bombers here. They ain't got around in, they ain't got around enough engines. On You're gonna see some smoke and noise. No, I'm not gonna see a B-51 though. I'm bummed. <laughs> we got one over here, uh, Rick, and uh, he sprung an oil leak, so he's not gonna. Yeah. We're not gonna get him up in the air today, but I stick. I talked to him. I wanted to see him fly. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully tomorrow we'll get him going. No, you can't do that. JB Well. <laughs> Yeah, so for those of you watching the live feed, uh, we got that uh, video up of the B-25 ride uh, up uh, from last week, and it was just simply spectacular. There's, while we're waiting for these Sea Furies, there's a rare, the world's only Culver drone flying aircraft right there. Zimbabwe, wow. All right, Super Chat is working. Triple seven, lucky number. Thanks, Nathan. So you're gonna to wanna to stay close to the flight line as the Sea Furies group up uh, just south of us here and do a series of stunning flybys. At least they better do some flybys. I sure talked this thing up. <laughs> Where are they, Brian? We're waiting. No, they must be joining up somewhere. I wasn't at the breeze. So. Okay, here they come, inbound. Well, look, look. Sea Fury's inbound from right to left. Two ship formation. Stay over here. <laughs> I think he likes it. <laughs> that shadow was down the center of the window. Australia checking in. Through the modern miracle of the internet, we're doing a live face uh, YouTube feed right now, and folks from all around the world, as far as Africa and Australia, are watching this uh, air show here at Nevada County right now. <laughs> and to think of what I spent on advertising leading up to this. <laughs> That's right. This kind of technology was just unheard of here until uh, recently. It's a really a dream come true to be able to, to do something like this, to be able to transmit our local air show all around the world with a cell phone matt coulter there he is okay just heard on the unicom another pass with the smoke on for the sea furies New Zealand, Ontario, Canada. Joe, I think that is such a cool plane. Why? Wow, this one is super cool. Now they're all retired. Are they? So the sea furies that we're seeing flying today were kind of post-war aircraft. So these are the epitome of reciprocating engine, single engine piston driven aircraft in their design configuration. Fighter aircraft and fighter bomber type aircraft. Folding wings for carrier operations and um, tail hooks included. Just at the end of the recip age and the beginning of the jet age. Joey, no. No, that's Sure. Okay, you want to watch the smoke form the smoke rings after this flyby. This is spectacular. Here they come with the smoke generators on. Look at the smoke. Look, Joey. Look, Joey. Look, Joey. Ah, 
Dang it. There we go. Now, look at these smoke generators. You ever see smoke like that? Smoke generators off the wingtip showing you what induced drag looks like and how long the um, vortices, wing vortices, hang around for. They'll drop, they'll stay in the air there for, for several minutes and drop at a couple hundred feet per minute and drift with the wind. That's why you need proper spacing behind each other, especially in um, airliner type operations. This determines how many aircraft you can get on final simultaneously. If you watch an arrival into, for example, Los Angeles Airport, folks that are all lining up to land on the same runway, they need a minimum separation to avoid this wingtip turbulence that you're seeing visually today with these smoke generators. Because if you get behind this, into this uh, weight turbulence, it, it can roll the aircraft right, right up on its side. It's very uncomfortable. And it's very dangerous if you get too close to it. Generally, the heavier the aircraft is, the slower and the cleaner the aircraft is, the more extreme the wake turbulence is. And it's simply caused by the low pressure on the bottom of the wing swapping ends with, correction, the low pressure on the top of the wing swapping ends with a high pressure on the bottom of the wing causing the vortex. All the way from Auburn, California, you should be here watching the show. Okay, here we come for another flyby. Air show right, check it out. Get your cameras ready. So this is this will be the classic slow flyby. This is what I'm talking about. The slower the aircraft, the heavier the wake turbulence. Lauren, thank you. So look at how violent, how violent the the wake turbies are off of this thing. Look at that. Now look how violent that that vortex is. The slower the aircraft is, the heavier. The more lift the wings are generating, the more powerful is the vortex. Which means when you're coming in to land, that's a powerful, powerful force that you got to stay well behind. Look at it, it's forming little smoke rings out there. Look at that. Of course, NASA used these smoke generators to produce quite a bit of data on, on wake turbulence separation and wake turbulence itself. And so in today's modern uh, airliner type aircraft, you'll see a lot of wing designs with little winglets added to the wing design. And that's all in an effort to help minimize this induced drag and minimize the size of these vortexes and increase fuel efficiency in the process because what you are looking at is basically aerodynamic drag inefficiencies induced drag the drag as a fun produced as a function of lift here we go again air show right where are they tim on down low and fast. Low All and right. Pass. Profile pass. Low and fast. Here they come. Oh yeah, he's smoking. Look at that climb. I would estimate at least uh, 250 miles an hour, maybe close to 300. At the Reno Air Races, these guys are capable of almost 400, over 400 miles an hour. If you ask real nice, maybe, and have enough gas money, <laughs> bring your credit card. 
considering it's only a one-seater. Yeah. That's bringing on a rope to tie it to the wing. Yeah, the inside. All right, that was Sherman Smoot flying the, the Sanders Argonaut Sea Fury, and he looks like he's headed home. He's not coming back for an applause, but instead I have an applause for you. And that is to people like Telestream, River Valley Community Bank, the Beam Easy Living Center, BNC Ace Hardware. These are all folks that made this possible for us today. Okay, so that's our Sea Fury demo for today. Single Group, LLC. We'll get Grass some of this Valley other Big Iron Commerce, going. Suds Brothers. We'll get enough Big Iron, I'll do another live feed for you. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. See you here. Real Graphic, The Willow Steakhouse, KNCO, News Talking.